we are just horcruxes of life. Yeah. Oh, hey, and welcome to another weekly vlog. So Ken and I went on a secret trip to New Jersey. Yes, that first clip is my mom made us a bowl of pasta with some meatballs in a bowl that said pasta. It was wonderful. We literally, we landed at like, I think we got there around 10.30 or something and uh, there was just pasta waiting for us. So what more could one ask for? And we were only there for a few days. So it was jam packed with stuff. The main reason for our trip was my grandmother's 80th birthday and we surprised her. She had no idea we were coming. Uh, got to the restaurant. Actually, we got to the restaurant first. It, it was at a restaurant if you, if you didn't get that. Um, but we, we got to the restaurant first the next day. And so she walked in and you know when you don't expect to see someone in a place, like have you ever been on vacation or just like far away or you know what I'm talking about. You see someone, you're like, hey, you're not usually here. And you just kind of like pause for a second to question your sanity. And it was great. Like it, it was, it was a wonderful reaction. She was very happy. Um, we were very happy to see her. I didn't vlog any of it. Um, I actually didn't vlog any family stuff at all. I don't even think I have any footage like with my mom who is usually in my vlogs like when I go to New Jersey, but I don't know, I just never, f I just never felt like whipping it out with the camera. But I did whip it out at least enough times for you to be watching this video. So one of those times was when my mom took me and Ken to this cute little like, um, I don't even know what to call it. It's like a market, like a, a super, it's a, not a supermarket though. It's like, it's not super, well, it's super in the way that it's like really cute and like there are artisanal items. Boutique, a boutique market perhaps called Tom the Green Grocer. And I think that was in Scotch Plains, if you live in the New Jersey area and you wanna check it out. But the the primary reason of me vlogging this, and I didn't even vlog the inside, I'm so sorry. I know, I, tragic. But it was snowing. And so I had to document the snow because we witnessed snow on our very brief trip to New Jersey. Th this was imperative. But see, wasn't that cute? Even from the outside, just imagine the inside how cute it is. Or I'm sure you could look up images on, on Google Maps or Yelp or something as well. Oh, we also, uh, Ken and I and my dad and my brother and my brother's girlfriend went to this pizzeria in South Amboy called Shortino's. And my brother took me there last time I was in New Jersey, and that was the first time I had it. This was Ken's first time having it, and it was so good. It's a different kind of pizza. I think this place has been open for over a hundred years, no, almost a hundred years. I think it was 1930 or something like that. It opened, and uh, it's like a pan pizza, so it's just kind of served in like a, a sheet pan, a baking pan. Is that what it's called, baking sheet? Anyway, and it's just so good, the sauce, is like uh, sweet-ish. So if you like sweet pizza sauce, like myself, you will love it. If you live in the area, again, check it out, real good. And this, of course, I mean like all of my vlogs are usually food-centric, but I think this one feels a little more food-centric because I didn't vlog. I didn't invite you in here. Tell me you saw that, Nat. Anyway, because I didn't vlog, uh, people <laughs> that much. But one of the days we were on our way to South Jersey to visit Ken's cousin. And so the day went like this. We went to White Castle because there are no White Castles in LA or in the surrounding areas. I think the closest one is Las Vegas. So we had to do that. So I have two sliders. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, oh shoot. Did it only come with two chicken sandwiches? Yeah, that's I why I was up. like, you only ordered two. I was like, okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. Then after White Castle, we went to my godmother's who prepared a bunch of food for us, which we also ate. And then from my godmother's, we went to Ken's cousins who had just ordered pizza and wings. And so 
that was just a such a wonderful day of just food after food after food a dream day really and so that night we hung out with them and the next morning we all went to philadelphia which i i think the last time we were in philly was probably when we lived in south jersey which was 2013 slash 14. um so it's been a while and what did we do in philly you might ask well we ate so ken actually has a couple tiktoks uh coming out and a new video on his channel we tried the these cheesesteaks from a place called steve's prince of steaks in north philly and if you don't know I, i'm sure you know there's a huge just like a multi-level rivalry with cheesesteaks in philadelphia and so pats and gino's are usually the first two that people mention we've you know been there tried those and so this time it was uh, steve's time to shine and uh i you can watch ken's video to find out what we thought about it link in the description box how's that for a plug was that a good plug did it entice you do were you enticed but first we went to this place called bow nine which we got a bunch of bow and ate it between the four of us also i'm sorry the air conditioning keeps on coming on and off uh i tried to film this with my uh microphone and um had to start recording again because uh, it died and I don't have any fresh batteries in my home right now. And so we're going with just raw audio, you know? And it's very hot today. Like it was a hundred during the day and now, I mean, it's nighttime and it's still 85. So please help me. You know, if you hear sounds, if you see shine, just, just roll with it. Gosh, I miss Philly. It like, I feel like, I feel like is a little bit of an underrated city because it's so close to New York and I feel like New York gets all the shine. And even when I visit the East Coast, most of the time, if I'm going to visit a city, it's New York. But this time, since we were in South Jersey, we decided to go back to Philly because it's been so long and it's just such a good city. I mean, we walked around a bunch. It was cold. I think it was like 30 degrees, so uh, zero-ish uh, in, in Celsius. My body's not used to that after living in Southern California for the past eight years. I, when it's 70 degrees in LA, I could go outside in a hoodie, you know? So we were a little chilly. Another important thing that we went to that we don't have on the West Coast is Primark and there's a location in Philly. So we definitely had to go there. Uh, Primark, if you watch any of um, Ken and my, Ken and my, Ken and my, mine and Ken's <laughs> vlogs from our Europe trip in 2019, the playlist is on my homepage if you, if you wanna check it out, click it and there, it's there. And there's also like a, uh, a binge watch version which is like the two hour version of all the vlogs from europe packed together but anyway we went to primark in almost every city we went to in europe and it's just they have cute stuff and it's really cheap and so we had to go 12 bucks for this one for the bag fish see this is why we miss primark hello Ken bought a bunch of stuff. I unfortunately couldn't find anything this time. I don't know if it was because like, I was just feeling a little choosier than normal or um, wasn't in like a spendy mood. Nevertheless, enjoyed my time within Primark. We are just horcruxes of life. Yeah. We also went to Franklin Fountain. Ken got an egg cream, which again, will be a TikTok, maybe before this video goes up, so you can go check out his TikTok. It's at Ken's a dork. They don't have sugar-free Do you have any oh. sugar-free stuff? Oh. They're sugar-free vanilla. Oh, uh, I'm okay. Oh, you're okay. I got a stick. <laughs> How about we do that? They gave me a stick. <laughs> Exactly. This is new information. <laughs> Ooh, I love that little thing. It's adorable. Oh my god, it's so fucking good. Franklin Fountain was one of our favorite places. When we lived in South Jersey, and we went to Philly a lot. Uh, it's like an old, like soda jerk kind of ice cream parlor. Really cute, really good, as in tasting. And it was just a fun place to revisit. After Franklin Fountain, we did drive to North Philly because it was, uh, I think, eight miles away pretty i mean kind of far from from central philly but we had to try steve's prince of steaks 
it's kind of like in a little a residential area and it's just kind of sitting there on the corner but yes that was steve's uh cheesesteaks delicious oh wait i'm supposed to convince you to click on the link to ken's video to find out if we liked it or not delete delete we had a wonderful day in philly we left the city went back to my mom's and then the next day we flew back so literally just pow 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 you know um no time to think and uh we made up for that because we had plenty of time to think sitting on the plane for five hours the initial part of our flight is going to be bumpy and uh, turbulence forecast that should extend up to Make sure you switch those Yeah, we landed, um, it was, it was almost midnight. We, we tried to Uber back and Ubers for some reason were $100. So we did not do that. We took the flyaway, which is a, thankfully like a shuttle bus uh, that goes to different locations in LA from the airport. And then we Ubered from there. But by the time we got back, it was like 1.30 or something like that, 1.45. We didn't get warden because it was so late, obviously. We were so hungry by this time that we literally, we got in the door from, from the Uber and then immediately went to the car and drove to McDonald's to get some food. So we're just here at like, you know, two something AM eating McDonald's, lamenting about our travel day. And it felt like we didn't really, I, well, I have to speak for myself. I didn't really, really want to go to sleep yet because I'm like, oh, like so much time was taken from this day. I watched two full movies while we were on the runway. But anyway, we got home, got in the car, went to, to get McDonald's immediately because we were so hungry, got back, ate our McDonald's, and then eventually went to bed. In the morning, uh, we got up and picked up Warden, who, was he happy to see us or was he sad to, to leave his friends, Cobra and Rue? That's to be, I don't know. We missed you, bud. Hey. Hey, how's your vacation? How's your vacation, bubba? Good? Did you have fun? Hey. Ward. <laughs> Love you. I think I know my food's here. Ready to eat soon? Okay. Oh! We did smuggle bagels. It's a smuggling if it goes through airport security and they, they know that you have bagels. It's not smuggling. It just sounds more fun to say than bringing. We brought a bunch of bagels home uh, because bagels in LA just either are not good or are $12. And so we got uh, like a dozen of bagels for $15, brought them back. And, uh, and some pork roll, which if you didn't know is a New Jersey delicacy which I guess hasn't made it over state lines apparently. And um, also some people call it Taylor Ham. And that morning, once we got Warden, the other first thing we did, the second thing, what, the other first thing? How could there be two first things? The second thing we did was make a pork roll egg and cheese at home with those bagels. And it was a lovely uh, ending was it was that the end of our trip though the trip had already ended what am i saying i gotta go i've been rambling for too long and i'm sweating but thank you for watching thank you especially to everyone on patreon for watching for watching <laughs> do you see what i mean thank you to everyone <sighs> thank you to everyone on patreon for supporting videos like this one if you want to check it out the link's in the description box and uh i will see you very soon with another new video. Okay, um, I'm, I'm gonna put the air conditioning on. Higher, lower, wait. I wanna make it colder. So higher in terms of energy, lower in terms of temperature. See what I mean? I gotta go, Th this gotta be done. <laughs>